Good day everyone! For today, we're going to learn important concept in scalar and vector quantity. So before, let's differentiate scalar and vector. So when we said scalar, ang meron sa kanya, magnitude lang. Okay? Pag vector, meron siyang magnitude as well as direction. Okay, so dalawa yung meron sa kanila. Sa kanya. So yung vector is represented by an arrow. Yan, so pag may nakita kang arrow, vector na yon. So para madali natin matandaan the difference between the two is yung S, tandaan natin, pwede nating sabihin na sukat. Yung word na sukat. Kasi ba diba, kapag nagsusukat naman tayo ng mga bagay, hindi naman natin siya nilalagyan ng direction. For example, susukatin mo itong pentel pen or itong whiteboard pen. So parang... Estimation lang, parang 1 inch siya. So, hindi mo naman sasabihin 1 inch in the north. So, para madali mong matandaan, scalar, sukat, wala siyang direction. While pag sinabi naman nating vector, meron siyang magnitude and direction. That's why, pwede mo namang uh, makita to as this. Yan, ba Parang two little arrow na nagre-represent ng direction. So, para madali nyo matandaan, word na S, scalar, sukat. While vector, meron siyang direction. Okay? The next important concept we need to learn is the quadrant. So, this would be your y-axis and your x-axis. Positive x-axis, negative x-axis, positive y-axis, and negative y-axis. Okay? So, here would be your quadrant 1 if both of your x and y is positive. And then negative and positive would become your quadrant 2. Negative, negative would be your quadrant 3. And negative, ay, positive and negative would be your quadrant 4. Okay, so the next concept we need to learn or we need to remember is the direction. So, apat lang naman sila, yung pinaka main. So, north, we have south, we have west, we have east. Okay? So, ayan, direction. So, dito sa dalawang to, maraming nalilito. Para matandaan nyo, tandaan nyo yung word na tayo. Kahit walang tayo, tandaan nyo yon, Kasi mahalaga siya when it comes to direction. ba Kapag naging kayo naman, ba Dapat may direction. Char? <laughs> so, ayan. We. Okay? We or tayo. Tandaan nyo yan. So, Siyempre, ito magiging northeast, ito magiging southeast, ito magiging southwest, ito ay magiging northwest. So, doon naman tayo sa kanilang mga degree. So, your east will become 0 degree, this would become your 45 degree. Tandaan nyo to kasi minsan, siya sabi nila na kailangan mo siyang i-graph. For example, i-graph mo yung 4 cm sa northeast. So, hindi na nila sasabihin minsan yung degree kasi understood na yun na kapag sinabi natin northeast, 45 degree na yon So, kailangan, lagi nyo i sa mind na kapag northeast, 45 degree. As well as, kapag sinabi naman natin northwest, this is 135 degree. Okay, kapag sinabi natin southwest, this would become 225 degree. And this would become southeast, is 315 degree. So, ayan. Tandaan nyo tong apat na to. Kasi hindi na yung sasabihin. So, etong north naman, understood na yan, this would become 90 degree. Kasi, ba diba, yung sa angle natin, kapag naka-form siya ng, uh, ng right angle, siya ay 90 degree. So, next na natin ay etong west. Kapag west lang, is 180 degree. And kapag papuntang south, 270 degree. Kapag mga due to south, ganun due to uh, east, ganun na yung degree niya. Okay? Due to south, 270. Due to north, 90 degree. The next one, ay kapag naka-form naman tayo ng full angle, de ba? For example, dito tayo nagmula, tapos papunta dito. That would be 360. Okay? Pero kapag isa, 0 degree yun, hindi 360. So, that would be the three concepts that we need to learn before we came up or before we go on addition of vectors. That will be on the next video. Thank you!